Hello everyone, I'm Vinita and welcome to my channel Hopeful Turns. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a crochet circle. Now I've kept this pattern as part of the crochet for beginner series because I find that this is one of the most basic pattern in crochet and lot of the crochet tutorials start with a crochet circle. So if you know how to make, if you understand the pattern of how a crochet circle is made, uh, you will be able to do lot of uh, crochet other crochet projects now to make this uh, circle I have made use of chain stitches double crochet and slip stitch now all these uh, stitches basic stitches has already been covered in detail so if you want to check it up I'll put the links in the description box you can go ahead and check it up if you're interested uh, to make this circle here, I am using a 4mm crochet hook and a DK weight yarn. Uh, you can use any yarn that you have. Just make sure that you use a hook that has been recommended for that particular yarn. So the pattern here that I am going to follow is not the most traditional way of making a crochet circle. Actually, I do have a sample here. So this has been made with the most traditional pattern. Uh, the problem with this is that your seam is very visible. Once you finish one round, you can easily identify where the seam is. And more than that, there are big gaps. So to avoid these gaps, we are going to make a small modification to the pattern. And we will see that the seam will be less visible when compared to the other pattern. And definitely you will not have this big gaps. So we will get on with the tutorial. So we'll start this with a slip knot. So to make a slip knot, this is how I like to do. I'll take the yarn and then loop it around my finger like an X. And I will take the loop off and then pull the working yarn through this loop. So here, this is how I like to make my slip knot. Now you can make the slip knot the way you like. So once you have your slip knot, we'll start making chain stitch. So we'll start with four chain stitch. Now to make a chain stitch, this is how you do it. You go left, you go under the yarn and then pull up a loop. So this here is your first chain stitch, second chain stitch, third chain stitch and fourth. So here you have four chain stitch. Now I'm going to make this into a circle. So in order to make that, I'll make a slip stitch using the first chain, st uh, chain stitch that we have here. So put a slip stitch into the first stitch. So insert your hook and pull the working yarn through both these loops. So this here is your slip stitch. So your slip stitch, sorry, slip stitching into the first stitch. And if you just pull this like this, you can see there is a small gap. So this here is the center of your circle. Uh, now instead of chain four uh, and slip stitching you can also do the same thing with a magic circle but since this is a beginner's video I thought I'll just use the chain four method to make the center circle. Now what we'll do is we'll start the round one and uh, we'll start with chain two. So one and two. Now this chain two here we're just going to treat it as a filler stitch because as you saw in the traditional method uh, you have that spaces when you finish one round. So in order to compensate for that spaces, we are going to put these chain two. So they will kind of um, compensate the big spaces that you have. And here we are not going to consider it as any stitch. We are just making this and just totally ignoring it. And then what we are going to do is for the round one, we will put 10 double crochet in the circle. Okay. So to make a double crochet, you yarn over. You insert your hook into the center. So if you poke it, you'll find the center and then pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two. Yarn over, pull through the second two. So this here is your first double crochet. Like that, you'll have to make a total of 10 double crochet. So this is one. I'll make the second one. So yarn over, insert your hook into the center, pull up a loop. You have three loops, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the second two. So here you have two double crochet. Like that, I'll make a total of 10 double crochet here. So if you want, you can pause the video 
and I'll meet you once I have 10 double crochet. So here I have made 10 double crochet. So we'll just give it a count. So if you see it like this, you have these kind of V's here. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then you have your 2 chain stitches here. So in order to finish this round, what we are going to do is we'll slip stitch into the first double crochet, not your chain 2. Here you have your chain 2. You have to ignore that and put a slip stitch into the first double crochet. So if you see, there is a V here. So insert your hook and then make a slip stitch. So to make a slip stitch, you have to pull your working yarn through this loop as well as your this loop. So you pull your working yarn through the first loop and your second loop. So this here completes your first round. So your first round should have a total of 10 double crochet. Now we'll move on to round 2. So from here onwards, every round you are going to start with chain 2. 1, 2 and this we'll just treat it as a normal plain filler stitch. Next what we are going to do is for round 2, we will put 2 double crochet in every stitch. So if you see it, there is V's like this, so you will have a total of 10. And in every stitch, you are going to put 2 double crochet. Okay, so we will start. So here, if you see, here you have your first stitch your, or your first double crochet. So you are going to make 2 double crochet in this stitch. So to uh, make a double crochet, you yarn over. Insert your hook, taking both the strands. That is, you are going to take that V that is there. Pull up a loop. You have 3 loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the next two. So here you have your first double crochet. Now in the very same stitch, you will put one more double crochet. So to make a double crochet, you yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch and then pull up a loop. You have three loops, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the next two. So you are making two double crochet in one stitch. Like that, I'm going to make two double crochet in every stitch. So I'll come to the next stitch here and put two double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, three loops, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the next two. So this is one double crochet in this stitch and in the same stitch make one more double crochet. So insert your hook into the same stitch. And then complete a double crochet. Now making two double crochet in one stitch is also called as increase. So if you uh, if a pattern calls for increase in the next stitch it means that you will have to put two double crochet in one stitch. So that is also called as increase. So we'll do it once again. So you yarn over come to the next stitch and make two double crochet. So you complete your double crochet. So this is your first double crochet. Now in the same stitch make another double crochet. So like this I will make two double crochet in every stitch. So once you finish your round two you should have a total of 20 double crochet because we had started with 10. Now on top of 10 we are going to put two double crochet. So you should be having a total of 20 double crochet in this stitch. So I'll just finish that round and then meet you. So here I have finished round 2. Now when you're finishing round 2, you might have a doubt whether there is any more space for a... If you see, you can see there is kind of a space here. And you might have a doubt whether to put an increased stitch there. So just to make sure that everything is perfect, it is better that you give it a count. So you should have a total of 20 double crochet in this round. So we'll just give it a count. So if you just pull it like this, you can see there are two stitches like this here. So this is two. Here you have again two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, and you have nineteen and twenty and Finally, you have your chain 2. So, the number of stitches is correct. So, there is no need of any more stitches. So, after you finish round 2, you should have a total of 20 double crochet. 
Now to finish this round, we'll do exactly as we did in round one. We'll ignore the chain two. These are the chain two. We'll ignore that. And in the first double crochet, see this is, you see it? This here is your first double crochet. So you insert your hook into the first double crochet here and then slip stitch to join. So to slip stitch, we will uh, pull the working yarn through both these loop. So make a slip stitch and finish this round. So this here is your round two. Okay, now we'll start with round three. And round three also, we are going to start with chain two, one, two. Now the pattern for round three is, you'll make two double crochet in one stitch and in the next stitch, you'll put one double crochet. So increase and then one double crochet. That is how the pattern is, I'll show you. So in the very first stitch, you have to put two double crochet. That is an increase stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into the very first stitch, pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the next two. So this is one double crochet. Now in the same stitch, you make another double crochet. So there are two double crochet going in one stitch. So this is an increase. In the next stitch, you will put only a single double crochet, just one double crochet. So yarn over, come to the next stitch and make a double crochet. So here you have two double crochet. Here you have one double crochet. In the next, again you are going to put two double crochet. That is an increase. So you will make two double crochet in the same stitch. This is one. And in the same stitch, you are going to make another double crochet. So here you have your increase. See? In the next stitch, you will put only one double crochet. So this is the pattern that we are going to follow. That is, you are going to put two double crochet, then one double crochet. Here, in this stitch, you are going to put two double crochet, like this. And in the next stitch, one double crochet. So this is the pattern of round three. So I'll just finish this round. And when you finish this round, you should have a total of 30 double crochets. So make two double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochet, one double crochet. You're just alternating the increase stitch. So I'll just finish this round. So here I have finished my round three and I have counted, I have 30 double crochet. Now, if you are a beginner, make sure that you count after every round because uh, if you don't follow the pattern, you might have a very distorted kind of a circle. So please uh, count the number of stitches and make sure that the total is matching. So I just wanted to show you something. Uh, the second last stitch should be an increase and the very last stitch should be one double crochet because when we are going to join us, join this, it will follow the pattern. So you, you see here you have two, here you have one and we'll be slip stitching here. So it will follow the pattern of two, one, two, one, two, one. So you should always end with a single double crochet and just like the previous round, we will ignore the chain two here and then slip stitch into the first double crochet. This is your two double crochet. This is our first double crochet. We will slip stitch into the first double crochet here. Now if you see it is slightly curving, you just press it down, it will lay flat. All right. Now we'll go on to the round four. Okay, so now round four also we are going to start with chain two, one, two, and the pattern for round four is you make two double crochet, one double crochet, one double crochet. So two, one, one is the pattern for round four. I'll show it. So here you have your chain two. In the very first double crochet here, you're going to make an increase. That is, you're going to make two double crochet in the first stitch. So this is your first double crochet. In the same stitch, I'll make one more double crochet. So that is your increase. So this is two. And then in the next two stitches, I'll put only one double crochet. So yarn over, come to the next stitch, make a double crochet. Okay, so here you'll put only one double crochet. In the next stitch also, you'll put only one double crochet. So here also you're putting one double crochet. So it is two, one, one. So that pattern you're going to follow. 
so in the next stitch it's an increase so make two double crochet one and in the same stitch another double crochet so this is two now in the next two stitches just put one double crochet so here in the next stitch one double crochet in the next stitch also one double crochet so this is the pattern that we are going to follow we are going to follow two one one that is we are going to increase we are going to put two double crochet in the next stitch so here in this stitch you will get one and two so here you have your increase okay so two and then one and one so that is the pattern that we are going to follow in our fourth round so i'll just complete this round and when you finish your round four you should have a total of 40 double crochet i think now you are getting the pattern so 10 20 30 40 what we are going to do what we are doing in a circle is we are adding 10 double crochet in every stitch whatever the stitch count was in your first stitch that many stitches will be adding up in every round so we started with 10 in round 2 we are adding 10 more stitches so 10 plus 10 20 here it is 30 here it is 40 so we are just adding 10 stitches in every round so i just finish my round 4 and you should be having a total of 40 double crochets here i have finished my fourth round and if you count it you should have a total of 40 double crochet now the very last stitch is a double crochet so it was two one and one so you should end in one double crochet all right so we will finish this round so to finish the round we will skip the chain two and then slip stitch into the first double crochet so this here completes our round four now we'll go on to round five now for round five it will be two double crochet and then in the next three stitches you will make only one double crochet so the pattern will be two one 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 so that is the pattern that we are going to follow so we will be increasing only after three stitches so we will just start we'll start with chain two in the first stitch we will make an increase that will be that is we'll make two double crochet so two double crochet in one stitch or in the first stitch and the next three stitches we will put only one double crochet so this is your first stitch one in the next stitch also only one double crochet and in the third stitch also one double crochet so it is two one 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 so that is the pattern that we are going to follow so the next stitch is an increase so two double crochet goes in that stitch so it is two then one 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 so in the next three stitches it is just one double crochet so this is the pattern that i'm going to follow and once you finish this pattern for round five you should be having a total of 50 double crochet so, so here i have finished my round five and i have a total of 50 double crochet you should be ending with one double crochet so we we'll just finish this round we'll skip our chain two and then slip stitch into the very first double crochet so this is how your round five is now if you're going to make for round six what you'll do is you will make two double crochet and in the next four stitches you will put only one double crochet because in round three it was three double crochet and then an increase so if you're going for the next stitch it will be four double crochets in each in one stitch and then an increase that is two one 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 so that was the pattern for round six that is you will increase only after four stitches so if you're going for the next round you will increase only after five stitches so that is the pattern that you can follow and you can make the circle as big as you want and depending on the uh, starting number of stitches your pattern will keep on increasing by that number so here you'll have 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 you can just follow and make the circle as big as you want so this was the tutorial or the pattern of how to make a circle now uh, when you're making a circle 
there might be a chance that it might not lay flat. Uh, you might have two kinds of cases. One is when you are doing this, your circle may not lie flat, but it will just curve up like a bow. Now, if that is the case, one thing that you can do is you can increase the size of the hook. So instead of four, you can go for a 4.5 mm or five mm. Uh, 5 mm crochet hook so you can just increase the size so your stitches will be a bit bigger and will lie flat now there is also a case where your instead of lying flat it gets ruffled it just means that there are too many stitches so in that case you might have to drop down the size of the hook so if there is ruffles you might have to use instead of four or whatever hook size you just go one or two sizes down so that way also you can uh, play around with the hooks to get a circle flat but usually when you use a hook that has been recommended for your yarn it should lie flat now one small trick if you do have this problem of uh, folding up like a bowl what you can do is you can wet your circle your sorry you can wet your piece and then uh, for drying you can just keep it between the towel and place a heavy object maybe heavy books to dry so once it is dried completely hopefully you should have a flat circle so if you're following this pattern and if still it doesn't lay flat you can follow these few tips and tricks to make it better so this was a tutorial on how to do a circle now once you have a circle you can definitely use this um, base in lot of different projects you can uh, incorporate it in bags or beanies i already have few tutorials up in my channel i'll put the links in the description box you can check that up that is also for beginners it starts like this with a circle and then just folds down so you may want to give it if you like you can give it a try so if you found this tutorial to be helpful and useful and you learned something please hit the like button and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing see you in the next video until then bye thank you for watching